The inspiration to create awesome sound bites from my interviews continues. It leads to the idea of interviewing specific people to get specific sound bites. I riff on who that is a little bit and some of the action I've taken to execute. You know when someone is selling from stage and at the end the audience gets up and rushes to the back of the room to buy? That's a table rush. My name is Misha Z, and the Table Rush Talk Show is all about bringing you the tools, strategies, and tactics that you can use to grow your audience and inspire them to buy. I had so much fun on my last episode recording on Zoom. I thought I'd do it again. And, double bonus, there's video footage. Yay. Hi. I'm waving to the camera. So perhaps this will be, this episode will be up on Zoom or not Zoom, um, YouTube, on my YouTube channel, the Table Rush Talk Show. Go to Table Rush on YouTube and you can see the interviews, the video interviews. Okay. What was I going to talk about? Um, Oh, yes. So the slicing and dicing and the creating, uh, I've got all this long video content, interviews, podcast episodes, um, what could be transcripts that could be sliced and diced and made into small bits to push out on all the social media platforms to create blog, a blog, repurpose my transcripts into blogs. Um, I would need somebody that was artful at writing. No one could <laughs> shine up the transcripts because in those transcripts, man, Misha can go all over the place. <laughs> and lots of ums and fits and starts and likes. Anyway, I, I, uh, you know, since I was like, oh my gosh, like if, if, uh, it, it got me excited as I was thinking about being able to slice and dice interviews. I was in the creating sound lights. I was like, Oh my gosh, there's all these amazing um, small business owners that are netting perhaps two to 300,000 at least a year. Netting means that's their profit a year, right? So a small business, whether it's a brick and mortar or a coach or, a, or a, I don't know, whatever, a small business owner, and they are, after all is said and done, making at least two to three hundred thousand dollars a year. That's profits. Like that's good money for a lot of people. That's good, good money. Two to three hundred thousand a year. I mean, that's great money. And if you're growing from there, and there's even more upside from there, that's exciting. And so I was like, oh my gosh. There's a lot of stories to be told from these two to 300,000 net income small business owners, right? At least, I'm just saying at least, they could, heck, be making millions. Um, anyway, you, you get what I'm trying to say, but I was like, I was thinking as I was, as I'll be, if I'm interviewing men and women entrepreneurs who are having success, at least at that level, they would have so many nuggets and bombs and just information goodness. And oh my gosh, I could, if I get efficient at slicing and dicing the sound bites of those interviews or video bites, let's just say sound bite, video bite, video, excuse me, video clip, that's all the same. You get good at that. Or I find the who that can help me get good at that. And then just interview and then just pump out these amazing sound bites from these amazing small business entrepreneurs. Right? I was just like, oh, yeah, I, Elon Musk has great sound bites, or, or, you know, even Russell Brunson, love you, Russell. If you happen to listen to this episode, I can't wait to meet you one day, um, interview you one day. Um, but I have a, I have, you know what, where it really started to percolate just yesterday after thinking about the slicing and dicing of content. 
And then yesterday I talked to two or three good friends of mine that have really solid businesses where they're making three, four, five hundred thousand a year net. That's their profit. And that's a great business. That's a great little business. And there's there's no shame in that. It just really hit me. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm, I've I've been skewed by <laughs> by the internet and and all this all this stuff out there, all this social media, man, all these multimillionaires and billionaires just like you know what? There's people that are doing really well, have really good lives, and they're making two, three, four, five hundred thousand or more. But I'm just I'm just saying there's lots of stories out there to be told from smart people. Now that person, if they've been making three, four, five hundred thousand a year, could have a few mil in the bank, right? Gotten their kids through college, perhaps Ivy League schools, you know, have a have a nice house and a nice spot, are doing well in that regard. And there's no shame in that. And are living good spiritual lives, even engaged in their churches, their communities, giving back. And I was like, just like, you know what? Because I, I, I realized after talking to my, it was two or three of them yesterday, just these really poignant, amazing inner t- uh, conversations, just BSing about what they were up to, how they were doing it, how they were growing their businesses, how they were generating leads. I was awesome. As a matter of fact, and I'm going to interview them both. Hopefully, they if they'll grace me, you know, uh, John Flannery is crushing it with referrals. I'm like, what's the, where's the bulk of your business coming from right now? He goes, referrals. I've got a referral process. And he's crushing it with referrals. And then this other guy's radio, man. He's buying radio time and doing um, AM radio. And he's doing the hour block interview style <laughs> advertising, almost like the Winfo commercial. <laughs> But he's crushing it. He's just doing really well for it. He's embracing the process. He started it about six months ago. He was already doing very well. He was just trying a new, he's like, I'm going to try this radio thing. And I just was thinking, you know what? There's lots of good stories to be told outside of somebody freaking posting smiling pictures on internet or adding value. <laughs> value posts or whatever. I mean, there's the, the, (laughs) there's so much content out there. So there's actually so many, I'm not (laughs) poo-pooing any of that. I appreciate you listening to my ramble right now, but anyway, I'll, I'll cut to the chase. I was like, Oh my gosh, I need to start interviewing more small business owners that are profitable, doing well, perhaps growing, having good lives out there and, like they've got good stories to tell. They could give great actionable ideas because they're doing it right. And so to collect those sound bites, oh my gosh, you could just, it, it's going to be a fun experiment. Um, so there you have it. And then, so I started texting some people. I was like, uh, I'll tell you what I said. I texted because I was, I talked to my, the few people I talked to yesterday were guy friends. So I was like, oh my gosh, what what lady entrepreneurs do I know out there? And to accelerate the process, I started texting a bunch of my friends. Who are the top three female business owners and entrepreneurs that you know that are making at least two to 300,000 net that would be awesome for me to interview? And people started responding back. So I'm so excited. Um, We'll see. So, so, so many things to do. So little time. I'm trying to stay focused, people. Uh, did I cover the bases here? That's my key question. Did I? Did I? I, I think I'm, I'm closing the loop. But um, bear with me. So, I, I just really wanted to say how I was excited to slice and dice current content. Yes, and then start interviewing more people to have more awesome interviews to slice and dice to pull out awesome sound bites to push out on the social media to see if can grow an audience 
And in the case of the people that I'm interviewing, as my audience grows, it pushes interested parties towards them. Holy mackerel. So good. So excited. All right. Thank you. Thank you for listening to this episode of the Table Rush Talk Show. For resources to help you sell your stuff, go to B-E-L-O-V-E dot media forward slash resources. That's B-Love dot media forward slash resources. And be sure to subscribe, comment, five star and share. Thank you again for listening.